Four. What's up, family? It's your buddy Camper, and welcome to Camp Hardcore, where the game mode is hardcore and there's lots of camping. <laughs> And that's how I play Cold War by casually camping. I actually had to start doing this in Modern Warfare. I had a 0.7 KDR. I was always going negative. I was getting killed left and right. Didn't feel like I was hardly ever getting any kills. Uh, it wasn't fun, uh, even though it's a video game. And let's face it, that's what video games are for, to have fun. Um, before I go any further, I need to give a big shout out to Nick. Uh, he's got an amazing channel. It's called It's Nick. He has uh, great content on how to become a better COD player uh, and how, how to become a better person. Uh, check out his channel. Again, it's called It's Nick. I would put a link at the bottom, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, so just check it out. You can thank me later. Uh, in Modern Warfare, again, I was a .7, and I got up to a 1.11, which isn't super impressive, but uh, it was a huge improvement for me and it was because of his tips. Um, his channel is all about helping you improve your game. Uh, he plays core and his advice translates to hardcore with ease. Um, we all know camping's frowned upon and I get it. It sucks to get shot by that guy who's just standing in the corner. If it helps at all, I typically like to long range camp and it's what I personally have to do to play casually. I'm not looking to sweat. I'm not looking to increase my blood pressure and not be able to fall asleep for three hours after I'm done playing. Um, has anyone been playing casually? I've seen all over YouTube and the internet that casual gameplay is dead in Cold War. Uh, if you're playing casual, or even if you're not, if you're sweating, uh, try hard, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you play core or hardcore modes, uh, maybe both, uh, so I can get an idea of who's watching. So mainly our channel is all about getting back to the fact that video games are supposed to be fun. Yes, they're competitive. Competition's important. It brings people to new heights. It can create greatness. I get that, uh, but I'm not going to be playing any tournaments anytime soon. I don't want to play the game as if I'm training for one. Um, do you guys feel the same way? Do you feel like video games should be fun and not stressful? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Sometimes you want to just put up your feet, relax, and play video games, but we love first-person shooters and we love COD. I honestly don't know how I'm ranked in the Cold War community. I have a 1.45 KDR, which fluctuates a lot. I feel like it should be higher as a camper that plays hardcore, but I really have no idea. All the ranking sites seem to not acknowledge me as a player, so maybe I'm not ranked high enough or I'm not using them correctly. So in the spirit of fun, let's enjoy playing video games again. I have a lot of silly and fun ideas for different content, so it's not just camping all the time. Uh, you probably notice in this footage, I cut a lot out because there was a lot of downtime, and I think about 10 of my kills were from a sentry turret. This match, I went 22 and 4. Then I realized I needed more footage, so I added some Nuketown. Uh, I did terrible this match. I think I went about 10 and 6. Um, one more thing before I run out of time, uh, sometime in my life, I'm giving myself the rest of my life, uh, I'd like to cause a ceasefire in the middle of a game or even in the lobby before the game. Um, I'm going to try and do it alone, uh, no parting up with friends or anything, and I realize this will be extremely difficult or maybe even impossible. And if this has been done before and it's not an original idea, my bad, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to continue to see better quality content, hit that like button, hit subscribe, would really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing this once a week to start and work my way up to daily. I'm going to go try and feed a bear now the way a mother bird feeds her chicks. And if uh, everything goes well and I survive, I will see you next week in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.